Good morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the What If Jaden Was the Owner of the Sacred Beast? So, in the video before this video came out, the one called Custom Card Reviews of the Elemental Beast. Yeah. So, and, so, yeah. So, this is, would be like a filler arc thing of the Jaden's in this alternate timeline thing. So, so let's begin. With, instead of, like, a typical, like, oh, I'm going to be a best duelist and all that stuff. Well, in this what if thing, let's start with the three sacred beasts. Raphael and, I trying to remember the other ones. There's Raphael, Lord of... Phantasms, Lord of Strike and Thunders, and L Lord of Searing Flames. They were, um, like, when they were getting used by, like, the, that old guy and the, and later... Ebel Helm used them, and they both lost to, like, Jade and Yugi. As, so, they looked upon themselves, um, and they were, like, talking in, like, how monsters usually talk. Because they're not human, so they're just grunting, like, Arr. So this is, I'm gonna do a translated form. So the blue who, who or so Lord of Phantasms told the others that's like we should hun hun so because they had a escape plan from their prison thing as they could bust out at any time. So, what does they do? They bust out of their, like, chamber thing. That I know with enough will of their willpower. And what do they do? They, in, like, they, the card went right to Jade and Yugi. And so, and so the Jaden ends up, so everybody's like, okay, the, where's, what's that rackets thing and all that stuff. As the, and yeah, so Jaden's deck now has evolved um with some new cards in it that haven't never been made by Maximilian Pegasus uh, or but instead what they did or what the monsters did were they they infused their own essence, essence into Jaden's cards to create the elemental beasts where that infused their Yeah when they Yeah. So the Elemental Beast when they fused into 
like they used their powers to infuse themselves with like elemental heroes to create new new archetypes as Jaden was like what woke up as they see as he sees some brand new monsters that have been added to his is Dak. Okay. Ezebel, who was with him, as, yeah, as they see the essence of newer creatures, as the each one represents like the so because of these new monsters infused with certain monsters monsters so yeah they created a new archetype that I showed in the elemental beast one So, but I will go over to the Elemental Beast to show um, their name. So, when Jaden was like, so this is new. As Jaden, or as Ebel was like, yeah, that's new. I never er, seen them do that before. As Jaden looks at Ebel, oh, as Ebel looks at him, besides the him taking control of your friends' as bodies and and all that stuff. So, yeah, so Jaden ends up, you know. The so he went to or trying to find Dr. Crowler or one of the or, or dumb luck that he found Maximilian Pegasus, the, the craters he was visiting in there, and he's like. Is there something wrong, Jaden? Well, yeah. The last night I heard some rattling noise. But you know how I see dual spirits? Well, plus, as he explains that the the sacred beast is, is somehow escaped from their captivity to and infused to create new monsters. Oh, let's see. Do you wanna try using them? Sure. So then the <clears throat> So his first monster that he summoned was none other than Homkai. Homkai is a wind level one wind beast monster. And so I activate his he his Effect basically. Now I add elemental hero Neos to my hand. Or actually, or special summon elemental hero Neos. So then he was like, man. 
So then the, you know, so then he used fusion spell card to fusion summon or to fuse this card with elemental hero Neos to create like Rhygen and and yeah and plus the so it banishes the this card from its graveyard or and him yeah. to boost its attack as the weird auras when people look outside and they see like the trees dying around um as man the so he Jaden went dueled against the name he dueled against Maximilian Pegasus. And Maximilian Pegasus says, I see. Hmm. So then the a whole, like, so when during halfway through the duel, the more and more life yeah, so he summons or not no core the you see it before you and he actually did its effect. Yeah, and to add a spell card and fused his bubble man that was in his hand and him um to create the water as the water starts to now evaporate into air as yeah <clears throat> plus they're like man it's a new type so when Jaden, of course, Jaden did win against Pegasus, and the, yeah, but the when the monsters when they went back into his deck thing, everything went back to normal, like the. Like nothing even happened before. As the the dual spirit of the the three sacred beasts went into him. So now they're just or so the cards the, the I can't even talk right now. The um, actual cards of the the three mean sacred beasts were were now just a average normal card like real life one but their dual spirits went in to Jaden's body as they became like the new, like, because their essence of the their powers infused with elemental heroes to create the elemental beasts. Where, yeah, as 
he, he was still in control of his own body, and he, but the elemental beasts were actually the, so Sacred Beast tells Jaden that the, or tells Ebel to ch tell Jaden that the, their essence are now infused with his elementals, heroes, to create the new monsters. So, oh, so yeah. And if you guys want me to do, yeah. So, he does train them to become more, like, used to it. And, but he still uses elemental heroes and the Neo Spatians. But this is a new type for him. So when he fused, or when they are basically more evolved. Like, their trust in him. So, the three sacred beasts actually created the archetype and by using their essence to... Of, like... It was like they were reincarnated as elemental beasts. So, like, yeah. So, there your big boss monster, when he used the new spell card that I will create at some point, and it will be like a... It, this is their big boss monster, named... Elemental hero, or no, not elemental hero. The elemental beast of light. So, so yeah. So, yeah, Zuku ends up, or no, Jaden, sorry. Ends up turning him into, or so, he, there was, they didn't actually change him, his personality, he's just, he is the same, but he's trying out new things. So, more powers that he, more powerful than, so he's, so, Ebel is teaching them to speak properly, and the, some of them can speak human, like him or him, but he's, like, basically Irish. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want me to do, like... Because, so now Jaden has not just elemental heroes. He also has the elemental beasts with the elemental heroes and Neo Spacians. So he has more variety into his monsters. So... Yeah. So, if you guys want me to do, like, adding any more into this what if, please let me know. It's basically, my original plan was for, like, after the, or so before the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX started, 
they basically added so yeah but I wanted to keep it in like the canon of the or almost canon to the anime so basically the sacred beasts become like they're they basically left their powers and cruelty left behind and infused their own essence into Jaden's deck and creating a new archetype called Elemental Beasts where and they also have because at the beginning when they first appeared the Elemental Beast in this video is that the Jaden didn't know how to control their pro powers properly. So, so yeah. And so then during the time skip then is learning how to control their powers as they agree because they they're young the plus the archetype thing or so the snow flame fox basically chose so basically when it first fused it with elemental hero restrictrix thing um the Elemental Heroes Trend Tricks thing. <clears throat> For the first time, they. So they created a flaming wolf thing. But. <clears throat> yeah. So. So the. Box has a basically was trained by you know the tricks and it also bred breed with her so to create it so this is their son. Yeah. So, if you guys and not the way that you think, the they simply just basically used their combined flames to make it so no like what you were thinking I know what you're thinking and it's not gonna work on me and don't be confused by the way before I forget to so the yeah yeah so then the each of these like newer archetypes that I created will be, like, because it was infused thing. So, like, their essence created, like, the new archetypes that form into bigger archetypes. Yeah. So, you might say the elemental beasts are part of the heroes 
like the elemental heroes archetype. So, yeah. And what I said in the custom card review you know, thing, I said that there was two cards or two archetypes that I did for my what if. The chaos archetype was owned by Jaden that was embodiment of light at a time. So he was embodiment of light and darkness archetype <laughs> or you know. And then the Yeah. You know, but now it's the Elemental Beast where Jaden was basically got chosen by the sacred beast to be the his owners. <clears throat> so yeah to be the like yeah. So if you guys want me to create a new like archetype <clears throat> for this arc for like the because for my tomorrow's what if I'm already working on it so so if you guys want me to do name any new archetypes that's like oh I'm gonna create a hybrid of a that will be like for Yu-Gi-Oh GX or Yu-Gi-Oh the original one because the <clears throat> because this archetype I just thought about this archetype for a long time so yeah basically yeah so now, this is going to be the end of the what if. So, please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment down below of who would, which card do you, do you like the most, and do you like this back story of how the archetype was created? Peace out. And don't be confused, by the way. Peace.